to get on that podium. Svan Hofagen from the Netherlands was fastest into this final. The home favourite, Patrick Flanagan, second fastest. Joa Balinski from Israel goes in lane number one, experienced Israeli swimmer. He might be a threat from the outside lane. And Samo Arana from Spain goes in lane number two. 16 year old Ugo Senel from Turkey goes in three. Tysman Hulfagen from the Netherlands will be the favourite. He goes in four. And the Irish swimmer. Lane number five, the Dubliner, Patrick Flanagan. Can the home crowd celebrate a medal? Daniel Videra from Portugal. He'll be a threat for the medals. Leonard Drenic from Croatia goes in seven. Radomir Pacak from Slovakia. 19 year old goes in lane number eight. Thijs van Hofwegen is going to be a firm favourite for this one. Paralympic silver medalist from Rio in 2016. We saw him swim a very fast heat this morning. Difficult to see anyone challenge Van Hoofwegen. The medals for the minor places up for grabs. And this man, Patrick Flanagan, can he do it for the host nation? Well, there we see Van Hoofwegen, the favourite, up and into his stroke very quickly off that block. Also going well is Daniel Vadira looking to get a medal for Portugal out in lane six. Well, Fanagan has started reasonably slowly, but we saw this in the heats this morning, and he built up and he built up through the 400 freestyle and came through with the second fastest qualification time. Tysman Hofagen. Well, it's difficult to see anybody challenging the Netherlands swimmer here goes through that first 50 in a very fast 33.55. Joab Belinsky right out there in lane number one. Well, he has been a medalist in the European Championships before, back in 2014. So Belinsky will be a threat in the outside lane. Flanagan at the moment lying in sixth place in these early stages. Yeah, Flanagan with a lower leg impairment. He starts in the water, he loses a bit of momentum on the terms, but he really does pull back on the field down the length. But Van Hoovigen here, swimming a great first 100 metres, turning in 110.44. He was the one swimmer this morning that really attacked the heat. But here we see now, second place, still Vadira of Portugal, and third, going well, is Carabasso Arana of Spain. Well, Portuguese swimmer, going well in second place Van Hoofwegen really away and clear there's hardly anyone else in sight looks like it's like a dominant victory and Flanagan swimming a well paced race and it's very very easy to get sucked into other people's races in a 400 he's got a plan and he's going to stick to it the Irishman and I actually think the spread of this field is working in his favour because you're right Paul you can start to shadow the person in the lane next to you but actually as we can see Van Hoofwegen out in front but the danger from everyone else coming from the, across the pool. And Valinsky going very well in lane number one for Israel. And Federa for Portugal in second position at the moment. And Flanagan it through to fourth. He's got a little bit of ground to make up, but we're not at halfway yet. And Van Hoofwegen is almost at the halfway point now. The Dutch swimmer, no one can touch this Dutch swimmer, surely. He's been the dominant force in 400 freestyle swimming in Europe a couple of years now. He was a Paralympic silver medalist. Surely he's on his way to a medal here at the European Championships, a gold medal for the Netherlands swimmer. There's a second place swimmer, Daniel Videra, going through for Portugal. And there is Joao Valinsky going through for Israel in third place now. Valinsky losing a little bit of ground on Videra. And there's four seconds is the difference between Valinsky and Patrick Flanagan, the home swimmer from Ireland. Just at the halfway point, though, for these swimmers, but Van Hoofagen already up to the 250 mark. Yeah, and Valinsky and Badera look like they've settled into a pace, but Flanagan really does look like he's building through each 50 metres. He'll need to make his move soon if he's going to get back on level terms with these athletes ahead of him. 
Oh, Van Hoofbegin coming down now to the 300 mark. He'll have 100 to go after this one when he touches the, at the bottom end. We'll just check the split now. Videra looking good in second place, looking comfortable. And it is still Valinsky in third spot there in the outside lane. Still the gap, four seconds. Flanagan not making much of an impression at the moment on Valinsky for Israel in lane number one. Van Hoofbegin coming to the turn. It's 300 metres, it's 100 metres to go for Chies van Hoofbegen of the Netherlands. Daniel Videra in second position for Portugal. And in third place, making a bid now, is the home swimmer. He's definitely closing on. You have Belinsky of Israel, Flanagan for Ireland, pleasing this home crowd as he comes into the 300 metre mark. The Irish swimmer right on the shoulder of Belinsky. Well, the noise is going to pick up within this arena. No doubt about the winner here, Van Hoofhagen, looking impressive, emphatic as he turns to head for home on this final 50 metres. But the race is on. Flanagan in fourth place, really, really trying to chase for Ireland's first place on that podium of this championships. Oh, Tace Van Hoofhagen from the Netherlands is away and clear of the rest of the field. He is going to take the gold medal. He's going to take the European title, surely. He has 25 metres to go. The tussle on for the bronze medal. You see it there at the top of your screen between Flanagan and Belinsky, who still has the lead, Belinsky. But here he comes now, the champion from the Netherlands, Thies van Hoofbegen. It has been a sensational swim for van Hoofbegen. And he will take gold for the Netherlands in a time of 509.76. It is going to be silver to Portugal. It's going to be Daniel Videra coming into the finish now. And it looks like it's going to be a straight shootout for the bronze between Patrick Flanagan and Joao Belinsky. The whole fans going absolutely crazy here. Belinsky has been caught by the Irishman. They're coming into the red markers. Belinsky still has the edge. It's all on the touch. And it is Belinsky takes it by just a small margin ahead of Flanagan. 0.2 of a second separating Flanagan from that first medal for the host nation of Ireland. Valinsky swam a great race from the outside lane and the Irish fans still bouncing but they must be really disappointed that their man didn't quite make it onto the podium. Well there, Valinsky punching the water when he realised that he'd managed to see with that bronze medal. He could hear that noise, he knew Flanagan was chasing him, but what a dramatic finish for that 400 years freestyle. Well, Van Hoofbegen won it by a street in the end. We knew that he would be the favourite. It was going to take a special effort for anyone to beat the man from the Netherlands. And he won it by a huge margin in the end. Something like 15 seconds between him and a great swim for Daniel Videra, you have to say, the Portuguese swimmer came in second position. Another medal for Portugal. They'll be happy that they are on the medal podium again. Yeah, Vadira there really cementing that second place. Victory, getting out really well, moving himself away from that drama that he knew would unfold in the closing stages of the race. Van Hoofbegen is the champion in the men's 400 freestyle S6. Portuguese swimmer Daniel Vadera in second. And Joab Belinsky breaking the hearts of the whole 